I'm here with my buddy Rod at Predator Fins, and we are going to look at some amazing fish today. All of his information I'm going to put down in the description. He's got a really cool YouTube channel. Definitely going to want to check that out, as well as all his other social. What do we have here? My favorite fish, Arabima. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. These so are little Arabima. These are probably like three months old. Three months old. I don't know if you can see with the camera over there. Those are little guys. Those are about five, six inches in the back. Then we've got some rays. These are eyeball. They're called snow leopards. Snow leopards. Yeah, they're really pretty rays. The, the albino. Black diamonds. You're probably going to want to do some stingrays over there, right? Oh, my gosh. Stingrays. Freshwater and salt water. Is a must. Look at these down here. These are cool. These are called P14. Different types of parrots. These are more docile. Some of them actually in Asia. Sell these size, so they they inject them with eggs. Oh, these okay. these are born that way. Here in just a minute, Rod is actually going to show us some little baby electric eels. And we're going to be put to the test to see if we can handle an electric eel shock. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. oh, and by the way, then after that, we're going to unbox some really rare fish. Oh my God! What is that? So many cool fish in here. These guys right here, the rarest freshwater puffers in the world. Really. Where are they from? Yeah, from Africa. They're cross river puffers. Oh, yeah, look at that. How big they get? 8 12 inches, right? Yeah, they're nice. not a very big fish. Okay, but still but 8 to 12 inches. Green, green and with the red bullseye spots. Really nice. This one's waiting for you. Look at that. Oh, look oh, how big this one is. Look at that. You can train them pretty, like, just as a water puffer, just like it. That is so cool. That Maybe. is awesome. Definitely going to have to get these for the aquarium and do another experience, like a training thing, where you can actually, like, you know, kind of cruise around with them, have them feed. I love that idea. Yeah, that'll be the one. I'll save that for you. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Got some albino iridescent sharks. These are more, like, short bodies. Okay. Their bodies are, like, smaller. Oh, okay. These cool. are, like, royal clown knives. That's been a fish that's been around forever. When I was working in the pet shop. We used to sell royal clown knives. I started my business with these, because right. they're in Florida. Right. So I caught one, and I put in my personal Tank. I used to have a moving company. And some guy came in to look for storage and he's like, I want to buy your fish. That's how it started. And that's how it started. That, isn't that freaking cool? I love hearing the kind of origin story. It all started as <laughs> one fish. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not bad at all. I was scared. I didn't know what they were talking about. Oh. Oh. That one you don't want to touch. Little electric eels. How bad is it? It's we'll find bad. out. He's never done it. He's the fish guy. If you won't do it, I'm definitely not going to do it. I've got a bad heart. Dad, I have seizures. This will reverse your seizures. There's a video actually of a caiman grabbing one and it just dies instantly. No, we can't do that. Nothing? I'm okay. Oh, 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 it got me all the way to the to my toes. <laughs> I didn't touch it. I didn't touch so it. So we did shock through it the got, water. Like it shocked like like that close. You got more balls than me because I would not touch that. <laughs> Check this out. I've never even seen one of these before. What is it called? It's called dolphin fish. They're dolphin. also from Africa. And these guys are the only fish that are freshwater that looks like a real dolphin. Yeah, it looks like a real dolphin. And you said these guys get to like four or five foot? Yeah, four or five feet. So we'll get some of those. They'll look pretty cool for you. And they're also very smart fish. Like videos of people that'll put like a ball in a tank and they'll hit the ball and they'll move the ball around. So pretty cool and smart fish. So this one, the man eater. That's one of the, but this don't doesn't get all as big. It's the oh, same okay. family, but not the Uraeli. The Uraeli is the one that gets giant with massive teeth. Crazy to think that there are literally freshwater fish that can eat people. That is wild. Albino arowana here. These are farm raised already in Asia. What do we got here? These are striped Raphael. Raphael so usually yeah. you see little ones. These guys came in pretty big. Silver arowanas from Colombia. In the Amazon, they jump out to get birds and monkeys out of the trees. So that's cool. Birds and monkeys. <laughs> that's an awesome fish. You know, obviously, you know, everyone knows what Oscars are. But these are really special. Yeah, the Bumblebee Oscars. It's uh, fairly new in the hobby. These came from Brazil. They're super nice. They, once as they get bigger, they have a nice stripe of yellow and black. Like a bumblebee. That's crazy. What do we have up here? These are crazy. Silver dollars. These are yeah. black bar silver dollars. As they get older, they start getting the red. And then those are pretty rare types of silver dollars as well. They'll get more green. Fogel peacock bass. It's a peacock bass. For me, yeah. that's the prettiest peacock. Like if you set up a predatory tank, you definitely should get one of these guys. And they'll get bright yellow when they get bigger. Bright, 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 bright red, yeah. The whole bottom. The yellow ones is that ones over oh, there. Oh yeah, right here. These are really cool. Really nice and yellow, like a golden color. And we put a hundred bucks in between you two. Okay. Whoever screams the least, get a hundred bucks. Okay, let's go. I'll put you first. <laughs> I like a hundred dollars. Mm. Did it shock you? Mm -hmm. Neutral? Mm. Oh, there it goes. That was He's one. holding it. It doesn't shock. I think I shocked him out. <laughs> F that. I'm not doing it. He just charged it up. I'm scared. I can't do it. I was really ready. I, that one is so big. Yeah, no, do it first. No, you gotta, and I don't want to knock this filtration system off. For, I'm too scared. Is, and you know I just won't do it. It's a I'm competition. Scared. I was. I forfeit. I don't need the $100. Right, I'll do it again. It. All right, do it again. And do it. Oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm not doing it. I can't do it. Give him $200. I can't do it. <laughs> 
Like, that was awesome. Do it. Do it. Down here, we have the barramundis, native to Australia, but there's a lot of places farm raising them for food. I've been to Australia before. This is a standard thing when you go to a restaurant and you're getting fish. Usually it's a barramundi. They're really much more pretty than I expected them to if be. If you think these are pretty, you gotta wait to see what we're unboxing. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got some nice stuff for you. Two fish that we got that we're raising for ourselves. This is like a golden Asian tarpon. Oh, we didn't even know they existed. Yeah, but really? these are, this one's Asian tarpon. This guy can grow to about four feet, but it's more of a golden color. Usually they're gray. But this is like more of a golden. When, when you're ready, we'll yeah. get something like that for you. Oh, these, these are, are awesome. Vegas. Very docile. They, they're more like a community fish. So we'll, okay. we set up a discus tank. You can't even put these guys in it. Oh, you can put them with discus. Mm -hmm. that's they cool. like to filter the sand. Ah, that's cool. So the first arapaima we looked at were about three months old. These are actually even smaller. This is just amazing to think that. They can go from this size. And within a couple years can get four or five foot long. Like I like king cobras as my number one snake. Yeah. Arapaima, that's my number one fish for sure. These are pearl stingrays. Oh, those are beautiful. Yeah, look how he's pretty much thinking that the camera's food is going right up to the camera. Time for the unboxing part, but I'm actually going to be the Santa that's delivering the fish. You can check that out over on Rod's channel. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. And I'm the little elf. He's the little elf. He's elf J. Little elf. Up at the airport, but you don't I, even know where it is. I just picked it up and it said Rod on it. He's been a good boy. <laughs> so, all right, I, uh, so we're gonna do an unboxing. Thank you for coming. Thank you uh, for having me. Are you gonna be quiet? This is a really cool fish that we don't see it every day. So, so you want to keep baiting you. you. I've unboxed a lot of snakes, but I haven't unboxed a lot of fish. You guys know that I love unboxing snakes when I don't know what's in the box. So, this is absolutely exciting as could be. Still a little hard to see. Oh, it's an albino? It's, it's a golden. A golden. It's a light oh golden. They call God. it sunshine. A sunshine. Monday. And how many of these are there? Some farms will come up with some different variations. Is this one's bred out of the country then? Or? It came from Australia. Australia? Australia. This came from Australia. Oh, there was a couple kangaroos in it, but we took it out. They're the same both boxes? No, 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 no. The yeah. second box is no, no, something. We got very, something else. I think something even more crazy. What? Yes. These are pretty cool too. Albino redhead geos. They're not that color. Now they're producing them albino. And wow. it's a very popular fish in the hobby right now. And so that's a flower horn. Flower that's like a red, red monkey. Devil. Some people call it red devil as well, but they're very aggressive. That's why they need to be separated. Flower horns are one of my favorites too. Why is it that the African puffers needed to be separated? What are these? These are also African, but they're not as aggressive as those two that you Okay, saw. so it's just a species thing. Right. These can be kept communally. Yeah, they will still nip at each other if you don't feed them well. If you feed them well and you have structure in a tank, they can live together. Man, this these is, are incredible. Yeah, they're very pretty. Yeah, so. they're amazing. So what are they again? These are the golden bumblebee barbs. Golden bumblebee barbs. Yep, they come from Asia. That's a cool fish right there. Doesn't it look like an arapaima? It does look like an arapaima. But these are it? African arowanas. African arowana. Totally different than the silvers, right? Wow. Different shape, That's, different look. How big I mean, do these get like? 30, 32 inches. Oh, okay, so not as big. Still with the deep, big fish though. Yeah, very cool fish. They came in, so they're in quarantine. They have a nice chrome look to them. But look, they swim upside down. They swim upside down. Do what you are they called? have a snake that does that? Like, no. Move upside down? No. This is Synodonis from Africa. There. Wild. Are you oh my God. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. Take it away. I'll just ask you, what do you think it is? Oh my God! What is that? So it reminds me of the shark catfishy thing. Yes, the man eater. The man, man eater. Oh, he's Yeah. All right, this is a ten. This is a ten. This is a shirt. twelve. So this, how big is this? <laughs> I like this guy. That's a <laughs> oh, that's a you're crazy. Oh no, this that's a ten out of ten. How big is this gonna get? They can get to eight feet in the wild. Eight mm -hmm. feet in the wild. Don't let this your kids is... swim in the river. But originally they're from oh, India, right? Uh, yes, they exist in India, Thailand. Really, really cool fish. You don't see this variation of color, especially one that size is like amazing. So this is, so you're how can you not be more excited? You're just so oh I'm right no now. I'm very excited but I'm letting you be excited for it. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm like I'm freaking out and you're like just like so calm. I'm excited I'm like a little kid right now because when I see fish like this it's you don't see them every day. Oh my gosh you know? no. So now this awesome. one is a twelve. Yeah, that's a 12. <laughs> that's a 12. Right, Definitely right. a 12. Thank you guys for letting no, us be a welcome, part of this. Man. This Thank is you for awesome. Coming. Thank you for being wow. the Santa. Uh, these are gonna be fish that we're gonna put in our display. I want one of these. Please. Remember that big catfish mm -hmm. that I used to have in Florida? Be real quick so yeah, you guys can see yeah. that. They, they start small like this, even smaller. So oh! <laughs> These guys. Look at those. Yeah, they look like a shark. Yeah. yeah. They're the only freshwater fish that resembles a shark. Yep. Oh my gosh, look at these fish. These things are dope. Those are the Zabrina pike. It's the prettiest one. Oh my out gosh, there. they're so gorgeous. Very 
hard to get a good specimen with that quality. Yeah, that is ridiculous. These came from Brazil. They're called leopard frogs. They're leopard, leopard, frog. leopard frogs, but they're a pleco. Wow, that's crazy. And what kind of plecos are these? Sunshine, golden sunshine. Oh, the sunshine pleco. So, albino? albino alligator gar, yeah. Uh, so you don't really see the albinos like the first time they start coming around for yeah. alligators. So we have the albino, and then what are these? These are platinum. These, right? these are like pied. Marble, like pied. Marble. Yeah, but marble. Yeah. The red eyes, there's a few red eyes, and some with black eyes. So yeah. some are albino. That's a different species. That's a Florida, that's an alligator. Uh -huh. That guy can go to like six, seven feet. These are very popular. These are the golden nuggets. And the little guys over there, the L600s, the leopard. It's crazy you guys have like numbers to them. Pretty much all the black ones have different numbers. Really? Almost every single one. Loving it. What's this little guy here? This is, this is That's pretty much the same as those. They're just smaller. There's a lot of stuff that I want. That's for sure. Preaching to the choir. Yeah. I'm like fun. scared. Yeah. You okay. got it. Yeah. What about my rings? Like, can I have rings? Yeah. they will just amplify it. You don't seem sure. <laughs> you don't seem sure. Ah! Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, okay. I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just protecting my- Oh, I'm feeling it though, but I didn't even do it yet. Calm, calm, calm. Wait, oh my God! Oh. <laughs> That's crazy, you guys are wild. <laughs> it's not bad, like I would do it again, but that was crazy. I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> Time to feed some of the Predator fish here. Check this out. They're just so cool. Once they smell, they start going nuts. Mike gets flat. She wasn't doing good at all. She was like close to dying, wouldn't eat. Mm -hmm. And then we brought her here, set up a saltwater tank, medicated her, and now she's coming back to life. Just look at how big that puffer is. That she's thing is about 10 years old. About 10 years old. But if you saw the way she was when we got it, like, it was ready to go, yeah. yeah. So it was nice that they call us to go and pick her up. But you know, we obviously want to put her in a bigger home. Right oh, now, sure, she's just right, trying right. to. Just, yeah, rehab her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's one big mother puffer. That's a mother puffer. Look at the teeth. A little like bug teeth. There it is. You guys have been on the nice list. Don't get on the naughty list. No, no, no not get me, this, not me. I won't deliver these next time. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, this will reverse your seizures. Wait, wait, oh, oh,